Hey everybody. Um, I'm recording this because I want to help people fix a known Skype issue. Um, it kind of blew my mind away last night when I learned about it that Skype was actually the problem. Um, it, it's hogging resources at a point when it shouldn't be just because of apparently the browser I want to use. So I want to show you right now I have my Task Manager open. I have Camtasia Studio open. It's running and recording. I have Google Chrome open so I can show you the default browser is currently Chrome right down here. I also have a forum thing going on for Skype with because Skype is using extremely high usage. And I have my system information up here because I want to show you right here that I have a pretty decent processor system going on. I mean, for, it's got four cores. Uh, so to me, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good processor to me. I'm going to go ahead and shut that off. Notice it went away. So nothing else is running. I'm going to click over here on processes. On the processes part, I just learned yesterday that I could do things over here, like sort it by CPU percentage. So system idleness is 84%. Cam Camtasia Studios running between 7 and 10, 11, whatever. And these are all the percentages of what's running. The reason it's going back and forth because they're pinging little bits of memory of all this fooey stuff that I have running in the background. QuickBooks and things like that. Chrome, obviously, because it's open. So anyway, let's open Skype. Um, please notice that right here, I'm at 10, 11. 80% roughly idle right here 22% CPU usage right up here in the corner upper left 18 20 so I'm gonna come down here to the bottom of the toolbar I'm gonna start Skype up there's a great noise that says Skype is opening it's logging in notice my processor jumps pretty good of course you start any program it's gonna obviously jump a little bit but let's highlight Skype right there. Notice right here, right there. Notice what that is. That's 25, 23, 24, 21, 18%, 26%. 20% of a quad four processor. So it basically is taking up one entire processor to run Skype. So for fun, I'm going to show something that I learned this morning. That we were trying to figure out how it was happening last night every once in a while I would have two Skype opens well you'll notice Skype didn't really close so I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna open Skype again it's loaded now it's running in here twice Notice my processors, 99%, 91, 91, 99%. I mean, now it's open twice. And I'm coming down right down here. I'm going to right mouse click where it says quit Skype. You're going to hear the noise. <sighs> Skype, those of you who use Skype know that Skype is now shut off. Yet now I still have it in here running twice. So. Let's come back here to my task manager. Something I learned last night, thanks to my friend who came over to help me, is I could right mouse click on the process. I'll do it over here so we can see that it's on Skype. Of course, you can't see my finger pointing at it. And I'm going to end the process. Box pops up. I'm going to end the process. Process went down. My CPU usage went down. So I'm going to click on Skype again. The second part of it, and I'm going to end the process. I'm going to end the process. And notice everything goes back to where, to me, I think it needs to go. Considering I'm using Camtasia right now, which is probably the best video recorder you're all ever going to find. So anyway, we were trying to figure out what's going on. My friend, Drew, he went to Skype. Extremely high CPU usage. He was reading through all of these things. And I will post these links underneath the video. So you can go to them yourself. And he clicked on that link because it said, do this, it works. Basically, what this guy is saying is if he changes his browser uh, to default to Internet Explorer, yeah, I said it, 
Internet Exploder, i.e. Internet Explorer, also known as Internet Exploder by most people, Skype doesn't have this issue. So, I'm going to close that. I'm going to close that. Notice I'm still on my settings for Chrome. The default browser is currently Chrome. So I'm going to open up Internet Exploder, which, quite honestly, I only have this because it's the only way I can communicate with the IRS. As I mean, it's an occupational thing. It's the only reason I have Internet Explorer. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it because I hate it. It's nasty. It's gross. Um, at one point, into it, you couldn't take their QuickBooks Pro Advisor test without having Internet Exploder, and that was horrible. They've they've recently fixed that, and that's good. But anyway, so let's come over here. Let's go to Tools, Internet Options, Programs, and I'm going to make Internet Explorer my default browser. Make default. Hell, that okay. I probably need to reload that. I'm gonna come down here. And it says so. Chrome is no longer my default browser. Internet Explorer is now my default browser. Cam Camtasia is running. Idle is running about 80 percent over here. I'm about 20, 25 percent. So let's open Skype. Look at that. 8%, 10%, 17%, 10%. Hardly even using anything. I mean, nothing. Basically, in my opinion, it's not using anything. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to quit Skype. Come back here to the Task Manager. You'll notice that Skype is not here again. It's not still here. When I exited Skype, it actually went away. Yeah. Pick your pick pick your chin up, strike it on the ground. It's amazing, isn't it? Amazing. For just so just for fun, let's open up Skype again. Back here, the task manager. Now let's unclick that. I don't even see Skype over here at the moment. Where is it? System idle. There it is. So Skype's doing exactly, in my opinion, Skype's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Now, you're probably saying I probably did something tricky. I didn't, I swear. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to quit Skype again. Back down to 23%. My little gauge. I want to make Chrome my default browser. Just a push of a button. I'm going to open Skype again. Did you see it in the background? Did you notice my processor? Look at that. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to quit Skype. What I'm doing is I'm clicking on the toolbar and I'm hitting quit Skype. Not sign out, not close window, quit Skype. Notice Skype is still open. Notice Google Chrome is my default browser. And one more time, Internet Options on Internet Exploder. Make default, tell it OK. Going to refresh Chrome just to make sure that it actually worked. Yep, I'm going to open Skype. Now yeah, let's wait a minute. We better end that first in process. There. Now Skype is closed.
making sure, making sure. That's something else I wanted to show you here real fast just before I end this. Skype is opening up real quick. It's not up here. It's running, but it's not up here. So it tells me that it's running the way it's supposed to. But real fast, I'm going to turn this back into the default browser. I'm going to quit Skype. Make sure it's not running over here anywhere. Let's see. Is it running over here anywhere? Don't see it. So, it's not running there. It's not running here. Chrome is the browser again. I'm opening Skype. Notice it's pinging out pretty good. It settles down about 24-25% when it opens. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to quit Skype. Wait a minute, before I do that, let's come over here. Applications, Skype is, Skype is running. I'm going to quit Skype. S Skype closes. Skype is gone out of the applications of the task manager. But when I come back to processes, it's still there running. I'm going to end the process. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to come down here to Internet Options, Programs, Make Default, OK. I'm running about where I th think I need to be running. Whoops. I didn't refresh this just to show you that it was not the default. Chrome is not your default browser. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that at the moment. And you'll notice Skype is running normally. So, that's how you fix it. You make Internet Explorer your default browser. Now, here's, here, here's something that's kind of sad. This is a known problem. Not, it's not a Chrome issue. Because the same problem happens in Firefox. The same problem happens if your default browser is Safari on a PC machine. It's a known issue. They have known about this. I'm going to open Google back up. I'm going to come back to this. Look at the dates. Look at the dates. We're talking November last year. They've been working on this, has been going on since November of last year. This fix was, this particular fix was posted on 11, uh, November 13th last year. There's 15 pages of this. People complaining about this. Now, if this is some crazy thing for Microsoft to make sure you have to use theirs as Internet Explorer as a default browser, uh, Skype's going to lose me as a customer. I'll deal with it for now until somebody tells me there's a fix but they probably only have a few more months and then I'm gonna find some other way because I'll, I'll leave Skype Internet Explorer is that ugly of a device um, and I like the fact that my processor I, 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 I can't even explain my frustrations that I've had over the past few months because my processor I've been posting to friends nobody was able to figure it out until last night and, and when they figured out what the problem was, it just blew my mind. Um, so, Microsoft, Skype, fix this. This is ridiculous. And if you really did do this to make sure everybody had to use Internet Explorer as their default browser, that's pretty damned petty of you. And frankly, it makes me want to make sure I do go all Macs.